So I finally get to go to Texas, have a great, I know my family's going to be there, a lot of friends are going to be there, a lot of family friends are going to be there. So heading to, back to Texas is a big, big excitement for me. I had to circle my calendar since the beginning of the season, knowing that we were going back in the Big 12. I didn't circle my calendar, and it's finally here, so I'm excited to play. Has any of your family been able to come up and watch you play live here? Yes, they actually have. My, uh, my mom and dad came for my first game, actually, okay. against Marshall. They came down, they surprised me, because originally they weren't going to come down. They surprised me and told me that they were coming to play. And that, knowing that they were in the stands watching me for my first uh, college game, definitely was like a... Uh, a uh, memory I won't forget. And I don't want to be a dead horse with this, but obviously one of the things we talked about when you first came was kind of the chip on your shoulder. You, right. you were overlooked by some of these Texas schools. Do you think this is an opportunity to go down there and say, look, I'm, I'm an in-state guy and, yeah. and you could have had a shot at this? Yes, I mean, I definitely think as an opportunity, you know, to prove them wrong, to see what they missed out on. But regardless, I'm there to win a football game. I've got to win a Big 12. And going through, our road goes through Austin. We have to go come to obstacle playing in Austin because I know they got a great fan base and stuff. It's going to be a very hostile environment playing in Texas. But we're definitely going to, I feel like we're going to come out with the dub. You ever been to Memorial Stadium before? Uh, in Austin? Yeah. Yeah, I've been to Austin. How, how many games have you seen there? Uh, one. Only been to one game. Okay. And, that's because, and the only reason why I've been to the games is because my friend drove me there. Because I was in, growing up, I was in a big Texas Longhorn fan. I mean, I like to respect them, but I was in a big. Texas Longhorn fan. I was more of a, a Oklahoma Sooner fan growing up because my relatives lived in Oklahoma. So there's always been bad blood with me against you know UT, but I respect them nevertheless. So what do you remember about that environment, even just from a fan's perspective? Wow, the fans are crazy. The fans are crazy. Their fans are really crazy. They take great pride in Texas football down there. So it's going to be a very hostile environment against us, but you know, regardless, we're going to go out there and play. You know a lot of guys on the team there you know well or that you played against? No, nah, I mean, I don't know uh, quite a few people in, in that go actually go to University of Texas. I mean, I have a couple friends who go to University of Texas, but they don't play football there. But, you know, regardless, I know that since they go to UT and they know I'm coming down, they're definitely going to be at the game, so i got to show them. Like what, I, what you know, they know what I can do, but you know, against in a different level, you know. So I'm excited. You got a lot of people coming out of the woodwork trying to get tickets, thinking you somehow have a, a mass quantity of them. Yes, I have a lot of them coming up. But regardless, you know, it's great. I mean, it's great to have that feeling knowing that you have a lot of tons of people supporting you and stuff, and uh, knowing that you know they always they wanting to see you and they always want you to, you know, they're always gonna be there to support you. And me knowing that, you know, I, I feel proud about that. I have a great, you know, a lot of people want to come see me. So I'm going to try my best to get them a couple of tickets. Getting a lot of ticket requests already? Mm -hmm. Definitely getting a lot of ticket requests. You know, I think I'm out of uh, tickets right now. You know, I'm not asking a whole bunch of guys for tickets, but uh, I think they're all good. I think Jordan actually has everybody's tickets already, so he, he kind of beats me to the punch. Thanks, man. No problem. Well, that's refreshing to show up and find yeah. his way around. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. He's definitely, you know, made a lot of friends and, and things like that. So he's, you know, real well known. So he, he's always, and then he talks nonstop. So I understand, like, he probably will have more tickets than I do.